Hello my friends, welcome back to the Wings of Liberty Archipelago Edition. We are heading straight into the Great Train Robbery. This is what people said that they want to see next, and this is for good reason. If we get unlocks for every single one of these Diamondbacks, it's going to be insane. We do not. <laughs> so, that's, so that's not good. <laughs> well, it's still going to be fine. It's not going to be a problem. It's going to be no problem whatsoever. We can we can get the Diamondbacks. We can get the dime or the Defiler Bones very quickly. That'll give us a little bit of a boost, and then we're going to be able to go Hellion Diamondback uh, Viking, I guess, because we have to take down the Ravens, so Wraiths won't help there at all. Progressive Vehicle Armor. Oh, is that plus two? So do we have... Three two vehicle upgrades now. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Our vehicles are going to be so good. If only we could unlock more of them. Because still, the only one that we have available is the Hellion. <laughs> it's like we're so close to greatness, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Diamondback. <laughs> we're so close to greatness, you know. Diamondback. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it, man. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm really glad that he's hyped for this as much as I am. Oh, wonderful. All right. So we're going to have to, we can wait a little bit for the Vikings. We don't even need them that early. We just need to be able to deny seeker missiles. So we're going to head over here, take down the DD. And this stands for Devil Dog, if you have never heard this amazing lingo before. And then we can send these infantrymen on over here to get the bonuses as we use the Diamondbacks to take down the objective. Now, the Hellions aren't going to be good, but they are going to be a buffer for the actually good Diamondback who have both upgrades. Okay, we... Er, no, we don't have both upgrades. We have one of the upgrades and the other passive is firing on the move. Oh well, plus one attack range, still really good. Dual fusion welders, SCV repair, ooh... Once again, it's not a unit. However, it's actually one of the best upgrades in the game. Especially if we're going for big vehicle energy. That's exciting. Things are actually... I don't know, they're coming together. We had to deal with quite a bit of memory to get here. But it is... If we just... I don't know, Goliath, man. Oh, the siege tank. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't really need the ant. Oh, I'll get a couple siege tanks. I think we could put some right on this ridge right here. That'd be pretty decent. And then we have to keep it safe with the Vikings so it doesn't get sniped. But, you know, two or three would actually be a pretty good addition to this army. Oh. I didn't think I'd need it. <laughs> so I built a depot kind of haphazardly. Whoopsies. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, we got all of this. The siege tank is very interesting. Looks like we found all the Confederate Diamondbacks, sir. This should really help out against the trains. So we can head over here, drop these trains. We don't need that many Hellions either. I think it might be starport time. And what are these escorts? It is some fire bats, which are actually going to be very good against the Hellions, but the Diamondback should be able to punch through it in fast enough time that's not an issue. And then there are some Marines, which the Hellions will melt. Yeah, it's going to be an easy one. What else do we need? I just want to make sure that we don't mess anything up. Swing down here. Over here. They burn through all... Oh, no, yeah, we did lose some of the Hellions there. Not necessarily the prettiest way we could have done it, but it wasn't the end of the world. And we're going to get a lot of cash. Go, go, gadget, siege tanks, and go, go, gadget, Vikings. Now, there are Banshees on this mission, right? But the enemy doesn't have Cloak. So that's not an issue. Sounds like they're planning to attack our base. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Be Here goes a Goliath thing. Pull them back. What's on your mind? 
and I want to be I want to be a bit careful. I actually think that we're going to stop building pretty soon. And we're just going to focus a bit more on some static defense. I don't think that's a bad idea. What I want to do is build a command center and then put it right here as a planetary so that I can more easily defend against the attacks from that or both of those sides. Because the only southern train is this one. All the rest go on the other sides, I believe. So this seems... This is going to be a pretty good option. We almost have plus two attack. All these vehicles are getting into position. Let's go up to five tanks. Why not? And then we can maybe even get some perditions as a mineral dump. I don't know. I just don't think the Hellions are too good here. And we have options now. This is, like, the mission for static defense because well not the mission but it's one of the missions for static defense that is pretty darn good fall through this spring on up and plus three attack is on the way I'm going to get like three bunkers over here now one thing I've learned about this series of bunkers is you can do stuff like just put a couple marines right here and it will stop the SCV sometimes if you're fast enough, but I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just burn through these, burn through these, stop the production, and then get these guys on patrol. We don't really need the Marines anymore. So it's not a big loss. And then we can move this guy over here. And we can try to pull the enemies into the planetary to make things easier. I'm not sure what we fought over there, but I guess the tanks took care of it, huh? Now make a little bit of a zone so that the SCVs can repair. And just make sure that they cannot do anything. Now the planetary is... it's alright. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it does have a lot of durability. Actually, I'm going to move it just a little bit so I can make sure SCVs can move through both sides. Oh, perfect! Okay. We're going to move it back a little bit, so <laughs> can't be shot. Are you... What? This weather vane stops me from landing a planetary? What? Are you for real? <laughs> I've never known that. Oh, so weird. Oh, we got hit by it. Okay, Viking doing its part. Diamond's pulling back. Everything defensive was dealt with, and now we can get this planetary fortress. Easy. I haven't really played this mission this way very often. I did it in the original Wings of Liberty Deathless, and I have... Whoa, why is there so much... Mo oh, right. These bases... I keep forgetting that these bases get increased in money... Oh amount so I I can actually do a lot more I could have expanded usually you run out at this base but that's not gonna happen here probably maybe it might whatever I guess I'll take that base then why not I think it's because people were uh, no you know what? I could just get siege tanks and use them in tank mode. Why not? They got good guns. And it's not like the light units on this mission are particularly important to take out, so we might as well just go grounded tanks. Vikings are going to come over here. It's all about this raven. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get out of there. You're fine. <laughs> Drop the missile right on my army. And the tank thing is working. I like it. And of course, I had a Diamondback like under everything, so he was getting shelled by my own tanks. Awesome. Nailed it, Grant. And because I have three command centers, I can actually get a bunch of SCVs over here really quick. And have this base saturated. 
repair this up and get a couple more SCVs. I'm detecting Dominion kill teams patrolling the tracks with large I think that the kill teams are not a problem. We'll see. I'll mark their location with we have a planetary Still, with siege tanks. If we can't take it, nothing can. Yo, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you tried kill teams. Uh, not quite as intimidating as a nightmare edition. <laughs> not even close. A train is coming through the western tunnel. We're just gonna move over here for defenses. So this is where this defensive setup I think is gonna be real good. Because the boosted trains are going to get shredded by everything here. Is there any flyers? No, there's not. So we can land the Vikings to help out. The Hellions can't do anything. And all of our anti-armor damage is madness. Tearing through. Let's get some... Did I really lose that many Vikings? Wait. Oh, I did. I like it. Let's get some more. And then I believe that the next train is up here, which to me says it's perdition time. I guess it's not going to do that much. We don't need the gas. Just try to build what we can. Oh, we need the gas. One, two, three. Bring them on over here. Oh, hello. Uh, Banshee is going to be taken down by the Vikings. Thank you, Vikes. And then be prepared. So that attack wave, I believe, normally goes up here and then sneaks in. And it can be a real pain in the butt. So I'm glad we took it out. These guys can sneak on down. Actually, we'll just move everyone else over here. Ready to blunder. I think we are so well off that as long as I make sure the trains don't get the ability to escape, we can't really lose. Actually, I want these back here. Because the Hellions are going to get owned by Perditions if they manage to make it past. Because Perditions are armored and they do anti-light, and the Hellions uh, are not. And we get the anti-armor behind all that. And it worked. What's going on? A lot of cash over here. Ah, you scared me. Me in the rear with and we the can gear. go perdition, 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 perdition. I'm going to be dishing out the pain. It's more like it. I wonder if we can just win with stack defense alone. I'm going to try. So the way we do this is we just make sure we have all these guys chilling in the back. So in case I lose, and then we'll be able to give it an attempt with the Perditions. We can't salvage these, can we? No, we can't. I'm usually not the biggest Perdition fan because it messes with the SCVs. They will just go into dumb places and get killed. Right now it doesn't matter. I wonder how many Perditions it does take to blow up a train. Is there any more money? There is some money up here that I could grab with this army. I'm really hoping this works now. We have 12 seconds until the train appears. Just want to make sure these guys are here, here, and here. Oh, there is no money up here. Uh... Whatever. We're just going to get over to the very end to make sure that things don't go super poorly. And if we can make predictions as fast as the train can move, we'll be golden. We can't, but it'd be cool. <laughs> this is for all you prediction boys in the chat, by the way. And girls. Everybody likes flamethrowers. Except me. I figure I should give them a spot in the sun. I want to I wanna celebrate every unit at some point in this run, you know, if we can. 
It's working. I don't know if it's working like well enough, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Not bad. And we got the missile turret upgrade. That's actually kind of nice because we might have missile turrets randomly sure. given to us even if we don't have them unlocked. Electrical activity in the wreckage. Oh, that was great. I'm really happy for these perditions. They did a pretty darn good job. They weren't like... <laughs> they weren't like... <laughs> they weren't better than an army of equal value or anything, but that doesn't matter. The fact is, we found a use case for them. <laughs> a very contrived and highly inefficient use case. Uh, Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Archipelago mod. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. I forgot to say what missions are available. Oh, <laughs> now I have to stitch these VODs together. Darn it. All right. We can go to The Dig. We can go to Breakout. We can go to A Sinister Turn. We can go to Piercing the Shroud. We can go to In Utter Darkness. Or we can go to Liberation Day. There. Now, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.